Now, personally, you chose to send your son, Jack, to a prep school. What was that family conversation like? He's a basketball player. Where's the best place for him basketball-wise and academically? You know, that's really what it came down to. For him and his development going into his sophomore year, what, and, and due to our experiences, we know prep schools. Yeah. And we know, uh, you know, academically, where, room, where are the places that would be good for growth for him? You know, that's really what it's about. Because ultimately, like we said, Corey, that's what the history of a prep school is. The, it, it's a pl- supposed to be a place for growth for that individual. Okay, where's the right place for me to go grow academic, grow, mature, and in this case of a basketball player, what's a good place where you put those two things together, which historically that's what I always, you know, what's the best basketball school and the best academics, what's the best academics with the best basketball. That's what you're looking for. So in his case, that's what, you know, we talked about. And then I just left it up. We left it up to him. You know, that's how, how we came to that end home run. I mean, I mean, I've always been exposed to those prep schools but to have personal experience of knowing what Jack went through, he went for three years, not just one, uh, to be in that community, to be around uh, people of that quality who care about you uh, and you're on your own because he went away from home. So when you put that in there, the maturity level of what you get when you put those three things together, like community, academics and basketball, quality of people right to see growth in three years off the charts when you're on your own and having to figure things out on your own no better experience and i just know you know i jack's level of maturity jack's level of uh in you know what uh independence and maturity and decision making as in graduating high school was off the charts because well he had to do it uh and it's not easy to do when you're 15 or 16 and you got to go away on your own. But when you can do it and you have those benefits and you expose your, are exposed to quality of people, the benefits you get from that are, are huge.